The Google Pixel series not only comes with day one updates, but it also has a number of features that you probably haven't been using enough or need to use more often. So here are 10 of our favorites that you might never have even known about. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Before we properly dive in though, we've tried to omit some really obvious candidates like call screen and hold for me, as these are touted as key selling features for the Pixel series, and as good as they are, they're not quite forgotten about in the same way. Plus, they use the Google Assistant, which is its own beast entirely. We may have a video of that in future. Instead, we're sticking to options that you might not be aware of, or you've simply forgotten about, or forgotten that are there. And to be completely fair, some of these options are not exactly Pixel exclusives, you might have similar features on your Samsung, Xiaomi, OnePlus, or whatever Android device you use. But with that in mind, here are some of our favorite Pixel features that we think don't get talked about enough or even mentioned by fans out there. On Pixel phones or any that uses files by Google as the default file browser by standard, you don't need to spend ages trying to delete unwanted apps one by one. This time saver is great if you want to get rid of space hogging games or apps all in one go, rather than using the slow process of finding the app itself, opening the individual settings for that app, and then hitting the uninstall button or dragging and dropping from your home screen. In tandem with some of the other features within Files by Google, you can target the biggest unused apps on your phone and then remove them all within seconds with consummate ease. So the benefits of an always on display certainly outweigh the downsides, but at night, even at the lowest brightness settings, it can be quite dazzling in a dark room or even a little bit distracting when you're trying to sleep. A simple solution is to disable this feature on your Pixel, but thanks to digital wellbeing controls, you can actually set the always on display to deactivate when you are asleep. So long as you have a bedtime mode routine set on your device, this is easy as just toggling the option and during preset hours, the always on display will be deactivated. Once your alarm goes off, it will just kick back in and work as normal, there are also some potential battery boosting benefits here if you actually don't like to charge or forget to charge your phone overnight on top of that. Being able to change the sound balance on your Pixel speakers is a great feature to have if you don't often listen to audio or watch videos on your mobile all that regularly. This is an especially useful feature for the Pixel 5 series, which does have a very poor under display earpiece speaker that simply doesn't get loud enough, at least in our experience. This does apply to any connected Bluetooth or wired audio hardware though, so it's one that you should play around with sparingly if you do want to get fine tune the audio to work across both of those speakers on your smartphone. So while Tasker is the undoubted automation king on Android, you might want some basic automated functionality without getting too in depth. The rules feature on Pixel phones basically gives you some little tools to automate simple things. Don't go in expecting full device controls. Instead, this is just limited to being able to adjust your ring of volume and do not disturb mode settings. The triggers you have on offer include Wi-Fi or GPS location. Sure, this is by no means comprehensive, nor is it a time saver for everyone. It is, however, a nice little touch that is baked in and allows you to set up rules, for instance, for work and home and maybe for education and any other location that you do wish based upon, as we mentioned, your GPS or Wi-Fi location. So this is going to be technically three things all rolled into one here, but bear with us as they're all activated in the same manner. Basically, the recent app menu in Android 11 or since Android 11 includes a few powerful new toggles. Plus, with Android 12, you actually gain some more interesting time saving functions that in all probability you're not using as much as you should. Let's start with a quick screenshot toggle, as this is something that everyone can benefit from right away. So when you slide up into the main app preview carousel in the recent menu, you can just instantly grab a screenshot of the app in view by tapping this simple button. It saves pressing the power and volume key combination while getting a full screen image of the app in question. In Android 12, you will still need to use the key combination method though to access the scrolling screenshots feature with supported applications. However, this is a super quick way to share something between apps and services. The selection tool itself is a little more powerful as it includes some neat tricks that you might have never known were there. So tapping this select toggle lets you pinpoint any on-screen text with ease. That alone is a nice addition, but it offers some other cool capabilities courtesy of Google Lens and the system. So when highlighting foreign text and characters, you may be prompted to translate to your localized language, while other contextual cues are offered, including copy, share, and search. 
The latter takes you to the Google app and searches or instantly searches for your highlighted query. A bonus exclusively for Android 12 users though, is that of more contextual tools within the recent app menu. Should an app or web page have images, you'll see a small picture icon that you can tap to quickly copy or save the image to your device. Dragging this icon downwards though, opens a small share sheet that lets you send on directly to your contacts or an app of your choosing. There's also a quick hyperlink tool that lets you copy links from web pages or if you like the image sharing tool, you can just drag this downwards to a pop-up sharing sheet to make life that little bit easier and get stuff to the contacts and apps that you want. It took until Android 12 for the Pixel series to gain a dedicated one-handed mode, but it's a neat option to have that you probably don't use as much as you should. Of course, with phones getting larger and larger, being able to reach and hit the upper echelons of your screen become more difficult with each passing year. The one-handed mode on Pixel is a feature that even if you don't use it all of the time is worth activating on your phone. Just swipe down on the navigation bar when you're using gestures and everything that would ordinarily be out of reach is now within your grasp. It's not helpful all of the time as we mentioned, but it is useful as no hand gymnastics are needed to access all portions of your favorite app UIs. So if you're sick of constantly entering your pin or messing around with the sometimes finicky in-display fingerprint scanner on the Pixel 6 series, then you should definitely try using Smart Lock. The feature has been around for a long time already, but it's still something that not all Pixel owners are using to save time on locking or accessing the phone, especially in selected locations. So Smart Lock has a few options for you to choose from. There's on-body detection that uses device sensors to determine whether the Pixel is in your pocket or in your hand. You can set the feature up using trusted places too, so you don't need to enter your PIN or use biometrics while at your home or at a place if you choose him. There's also the option of a trusted device or a connected trusted device that will remove the pin and biometric requirement if you are connected to specific Bluetooth accessories. Using your phone while driving is not only unnecessary, it's actually dangerous unless you need turn-by-turn -turn navigation help. Android Auto and Android Automotive certainly take away some of the risks, but eliminating distractions is still a better solution in our opinion. Luckily, Android has a built-in driving mode that can automatically activate when you're in a motor vehicle. As an extension of the Do Not Disturb mode, there are actually a few ways that this can be activated. Your phone can detect when you're traveling by road or over a certain speed, or it can toggle when you connect to a Bluetooth device in your car, for instance. As far as we're concerned, it's just a great way to eliminate any distractions while still retaining the ability to use Google Maps while your calls, texts, and regular notifications just get paused until you arrive at your destination, which is definitely a great safety addition. Eliminating distractions throughout the day is something that is obviously easier said than done. And since Android 9 Pie, the digital wellbeing suite has provided an option called focus mode that can be customized to block out your most distracting applications. When active, all app notifications will be muted until this time period ends. That's great for weekends and the evenings, but if you want to quickly and effectively mute an app on your phone, you can actually just pause it when you need to. Just long press any app icon on your home screen or even in the app drawer, and you'll see an hourglass icon. Tap this and it'll be fully muted until you reactivate it by unpausing the app if you do try to open it again. A good VPN is always something you should have access to no matter what piece of tech you use. And with the built-in always VPN settings in Android, we think this is something you should take a look at if you do have a VPN and you're not using it as much as you probably should. If you are a Google One subscriber, there's also a free VPN at the one terabyte storage tier. Of course, this feature does work just as well with other VPN providers. And for added security, you can even block any internet connections unless you're connected to a VPN service here too. Your data speeds and network performance may depend or will depend varying on your VPN provider, but it is a solid way to increase your device security when on known, unknown, and mobile data networks to have an always on VPN connection to your Pixel phone. So that's 10 features that we think are maybe less talked about, but are definitely something you should be taking a look at, or you might want to take a look at if you do own a Google Pixel. I want to know though, what are your favorite or lesser known features and functions on Pixels? And by extension, any other Android phone for that matter, do you have some certain options that you think deserve more attention? Let us know down in the comment sections below. But as always, this is Damon with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.